This example is sizing the band. This kind of band sizing type is classical. We have an reservoir at one elevation of 150 meter. We are going to bend in this case. It can be wide through 300 meter of 200 millimeter diameter pipe, which is roughly 8 inches. The pipe at the friction factor of 0 0.003. We are pumping it from the reservoir at 150 meter elevation to elevation of 200 meter is where it going to discharge from the pipe and go into the reservoir. Okay, we are given the flow rate that require 0 0.244 meter cube per second. Specific gravity of Y is 0.87. We are given the band efficiency of 78%. In this problem, we are going to ignore the minor loss because we don't know how many band and able. We are going to look at the continuity equation. We know that flow is equal to the velocity time to the area. So, in this particular case, the velocity going through the pipe is flow due by area A. Our flow is given as 0 0.244 meter cube per second. N. Then our area is pi by 4 into 200 millimeter diameter pipe. We saw that it gives us a velocity of 7.77 meter per second. I make Y surface at elevation of 150 meter is 0.1. And I met Y discharge from the pipe at the elevation of 200 meter is 0.2. Now, I going to write Bernoulli equation related with these two points. Bernoulli equation is like that. P1 by gamma plus V1 square by 2G plus SUS1 plus EP equal to P2 by gamma plus V2 square by 2G plus Z2 plus HLF. E P equal to band hat. P equal to pressure hat. V equal to velocity hat. R equal to specific weight of liquid. Z equal to elevation hat. H L F equal to head loss due to friction. G equal to gravitation force due to gravity. I know that point one and point two have been accepted by atmospheric pressure because point one is at the water surface at the atmospheric air and point two is just outside the pipe after the water is a pipe so point two also touch with atmospheric air so that eliminate these two points here the velocity of point one p1 is going to be zero because if you went down to the lake, the velocity on the water surface is very very small. If you square that small velocity and divide it by 2, it's going to be really small. So, we just going to be ignore that velocity. We can do the same thing at point 2. Because point 2 there is why this chart the pi is not equal to zero velocity. Look at the equation at Z1. Z1 represents the y one P1. Elevation of y one P1. So Z1 is equal to 150 meter. So we get 150 plus EB equal to 
Fitu square by two G plus Satu equal to two hundred meter plus HLF. HLF is a loss to two fraction. It derived from Darcy Wasper equation. HLF equal to fraction factor F into ln of pi L by pi diameter T into V square by 2G. We have been calculated the velocity is the value of 7.77 meter per second. This velocity is equal to the velocity in the point 2P2 because in this calculation, Y is flowing through the same diameter by gravitational force G is equal to 9.81 meter per second square. Solving the equation again and we got fat hat EP equal to 66.992 meter. Elevation chain is going from 150 meter to 200 meter. Elevation difference is 50 meter. The pen hat need to overcome this 50 meter elevation difference. But there is 66.992 meter of pen hat is pen hat to overcome as well. Now we have start to deal power equation. B equal to power of pen. Gamma equal to specific weight of liquid. Q equal to flow rate of pan. SGY equal to specific gravity of Y. EB equal to pan hat. MB equal to efficiency of pan. Power of pan equal to specific weight of liquid into flow rate of pan into pan hat by efficiency of pan. We don't know the specific way of Y gamma, so we need to calculate through by formula. Specific weight of Y gamma equal to specific gravity of Y into specific gravity of water. Specific gravity of Y is we get is a uh, zero point eight seven. Specific gravity of water is 9810 Newton per meter cube at a constant at atmospheric pressure. So we calculate and we get the specific gravity, specific weight of Y is equal to 8534.7 Newton per meter cube. Now we substitute the data in power band equation and then we get 178.65 kilowatt for power of the band. Power of the band is also same as the band size. In this calculation I convert 17865 watt to kilowatt. 1 kilowatt is equal to 1000 watt. Uh, now we finish the pan sizing calculation. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe my channel for upcoming my video.